Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight we're gonna look at the latest version of the toolbar pushback which is a tool which you definitely need if you want to use I would say the taxiing or the pushback truck uh, I'd say more easily and also more realistically. The good thing is that you can download the free version from this tool via flightsim.2 and once you've installed it by extracting it in the community folder you will have an initial option here which is pushback. So there are two options to do the pushback, but first look at the options menu. So the options menu contains a few options. It contains both the experimental features, which will add both audio, but also simulate the, I would say, uh, nose we will lift from the aircraft. But it will also allow you to make it more difficult, right? So for example, prevent the stairs from leaving, prevent the catering truck from leaving, uh, manually dismiss the fuel truck, right? Normally the fuel truck goes away once it has refueled. But by selecting this option, you need to manually dismiss it. The other cool thing is that uh, I'd say it's a kind of a shortcut menu where you can call the ground services. So instead of doing it via the ATC, you can uh, call them via this method. And you can control the doors via the options here. As last option, you can release the park and brake. As you can see, it's currently being set. So now the pushback. Uh, let's say feature so the manual pushback allows you to push back the aircraft uh, using the normal way right so you can simply say okay hey I want to push back uh, and then you can control the direction using this menu or this uh, I would say glider and even in, I would say change the speed by using the, the dark speed the, the direction of the uh, let's say pull or push that can be done by forward and reverse right reverse simply pushes back uh, forward it um, pulls you but there's now a new addition to this latest version which is called the pre-plan pushback and if you click the pre-plan pushback you will see uh, i would say a nice things right so for example what you can do is you can define a plan uh, so you can say okay hey i want to uh, this is the plan i want to use for the, the pushback and you can see that i already play around with it so you can let's say uh, mark an aircraft uh, but you can only place i would say uh, a marker if the airplane itself is uh, green if it's red like it currently is you can't change it so that's something you need to be aware of now there are a few shortcuts which you can use for this so first of all you right you can use the uh, say when pressing the mouse you can uh, move around then you can uh, place the weight point right also very useful and you can also remove the latest weight point so if I want to delete it uh, I'm gonna press uh, backspace and then it should delete it normally right so let's do that you can see that it deleted it and now all the weight points are gone keep in mind that if once this menu is active uh they say this uh pushback planner doesn't work so you really need to press close and then it will work so if you want to zoom out you simply press control and then zoom out right which will show me okay where i need to go to so in, in my case if i want to uh let's say uh move the aircraft uh, in this direction I can simply say okay hey let's move it here and then uh, you can see that I can move it to here and let's assume that this is fine for me I can press the enter key right the enter key simply confirms that I'm accepting the push plan if you want to uh, I would say not use it then you can simply close it right by doing this but it will not remove the plan as is so in my case I'm gonna press enter because I'm happy with it and that will also make this button red because you still have the option to cancel the plan which you set up so now you've done that you can press request pushback this is ground stand by so now you hear the experimental audio you can see the pushback truck is, I would say, coming into our direction. And if we would look closely here, uh, you would see that it will also, I'd say, lift the aircraft. So it locks the aircraft wheels. Okay, right. sir. The bypass pin is installed. All doors and hatches closed, and all ground equipment is removed. So it confirms you may that everything is okay. Parking brake set. Lifting the aircraft. 
So now it's gonna lift the aircraft. We are cleared for start and push. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. So then you need to release the parking brake. Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engines in sequence. So yeah, we'll start in the sequence. While doing that, right, we're gonna start the engines. Uh, you can see that it fully goes automatically, right? So we're going to start the engine. And the cool thing about this feature is that uh, it will simply follow the route which you pre-select, right? So you, what you will see in a few moments, actually already, you can see that it starts to push the aircraft in the correct direction. And that gives you some, I would say, uh, hands-free so you can start the engines, right? So you can start the engine. And while it's pushing back, right, we can go inside the aircraft again. Then make sure that we start the other one. And again, go outside. And we'll simply continue pushing your back until it ends or until it hits the end of your, I would say, pre-configured plan. So this tool really is, I would say, a must-have if you want to make taxiing easier, right? You can see how simply it is to use. Uh, don't forget to donate to the uh, developer of this uh, magnificent tool because I do think it's really, really cool. And it simply is a must-have uh, in case you're playing Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, the good thing is that currently the developer has an agreement that he can give away uh, Navigraph. Right, so Navigraph uh, subscription, Navigraph for those, uh, right, Navigraph has a multiple charts. Uh, I do have a subscription myself and I definitely would recommend it if you want to, let's say, take the next step in using Flight Simulator. So you can see it already slows down a bit. Okay, push back completed. Please set your parking brake. Right, so... What you can do is, if the engine didn't start yet, you can wait for this until you've done that and then set the parking brake. Parking brake set. Because as soon as you uh, told the okay, hey, I've set the parking brakes, it will simply uh, Ground, release and then it says, okay, hey, startup is complete. So. So one thing I didn't test is, okay, hey, what happens if you, say, didn't start the engines, if it will, will stay there until you started the engines, because normally you would do that as, I would say, part of the process of the pushback. So in this video, we looked at this magnificent tool, right? The pushback, uh, the toolbar pushback version 1.4. Again, you can download it from Flight Simulator 2. It's definitely one of the uh, add-ons which you need to have when playing, when playing Flight Simulator. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.